So I am a beekeeper, so I think that's probably where it first started. And really I had suddenly found, I was, you know, at the bottom of my garden there were three or four beehives. And I would spend a lot of time in the evenings uh, sitting behind them with a little table and chair and, you know, watching the, watching the sun go down. And actually I found I was, as I knew more and more about bees, it was attuning me, attuning my attention, turning my attention to actually the world around me in a way that I really enjoyed. And as I was doing that, it occurred to me how important observation of the world around me has always been to me as a photographer. We've had a relationship with bees, a symbiotic relationship with bees for many thousands of years. So there's this long history of human relationship that somehow how we are relating and managing the environment, actually that it is putting this relationship at risk is, is quite, is something very, I wanted to look for a way to reflect on that. So I began um, working with the notion of a future without bees. And that's the theme explored in a number of projects. So this, this a way that I might uh, engage with actual dead bees. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so out of that kind of use of the notion of, of the, the body of the dead bee, the carcasses that I did retrieve from um, some commercial beekeepers' hives and I put in my own freezer and then collected little components of these bees, the wings, I made piles of bee wings, and then began to work with both scientific imaging technologies, but then the oldest and the simplest way of actually generating a photographic image, which is the imprint of an artifact, an object, using light sensitive materials. So in the exhibition, you might see some photograms that are made with the wings of dead bees, and you know, there's a very a, a process that I imagined I might utilise to make something with these really tiny, ephemeral, almost invisible parts of the bee. To actually then working in laboratories uh, using a kind of uh, electron microscopy to actually make very elegaic portraits of dead bees that I've then. Uh, used to populate an imaginary museum from the future where perhaps we are, f we, are, we are receiving these artifacts at a time when the bee no longer exists. So the live bee project was really, uh, uh, it came out of this desire to imagine kind of a photographic work that combined both death and life. How might I make a photographic work that is alive inside? So that might contain uh, a much more, uh, a parallel experience for audiences that was really about their own uh, potential intimate connection to a living system. So the cabinet of curiosity, the cabinet of wonder, the, is an object both of contemplation, but it has actually, it is a photographic work that is created with a life inside it. So it has a, a colony of bees in its heart. And the cabinet uh, can be observed as having uh, bees flying into it, disappearing into the middle of what is a photographic object. But the cabinet can be opened, in which the work can be activated by an encounter with something that is very much alive. So the delight in conceiving it and making it was really to play with this notion of photography and death in a, in a very contrary way. And it was to privilege also the subject of the work as something that is living and present. I couldn't make the cabinet in the way that I did without a close collaboration with a physicist who was also a beekeeper, who was also involved in education. So, uh, and the form of the cabinet has really drawn on his knowledge and discoveries around how to actually create this wall of bees. Uh, its relationship to science has also taken me into, um, into laboratories to really understand how bees navigate, to actually get bees to actually fly down a tube. Um, had me turn the practice of being an artist into one that had to engage in experimentation in a similar way.
to a scientist. So there's this wonderful uh, engagement with the world, engagement with people, engagement with collaboration, means that chance has this wonderful way of kind of forming or informing the project.